The Maitraka dynasty ruled western India now Gujarat from approximately 475 to approximately 776 CE from their capital at Vallabhi. With the sole exception of Dharapada the fifth king in the dynasty, who followed the Mithraic mysteries, they were followers of Shaivism. Their origin is uncertain but they were probably Suryavanshi Kshatriyas. Following the decline of the Gupta Empire, Maitraka dynasty was founded by Senapati General Bhattarka, who was a military governor of Saurashtra under Gupta Empire, who had established himself as the independent around 475 CE. The first two Maitraka rulers Bhattarka and Dharasena I used only the title of Senapati General. The third ruler Dronasimha declared himself as the Maharaja. During the reign Dhruvasena I, Jain council at Vallabhi was probably held. The next ruler Dharapada is the only ruler considered as a sun worshipper. King Guhasena stopped using the term Paramabhadaraka Padanudyata along his name like his predecessors, which denotes the cessation of displaying of the nominal allegiance to the Gupta overlords. He was succeeded by his son Dharasena II, who used the title of Mahadiraja. His son, the next ruler Siladitya I Dharmaditya was described by Hyuan Sang, visited in 640 CE, as a monarch of great administrative ability and of rare kindness and compassion. Siladitya I was succeeded by his younger brother Karagraha I Verdi Copperplate Grant 616 CE of Karagraha I proves that his territories included Ujjain. During the reign of the next ruler, Dharasena III, North Gujarat was included in this kingdom. Dharasena II was succeeded by another son of Karagraha I, Dhruvasena II, Baladitya. He married the daughter of Harshavardhana. His son Dharasena IV assumed the imperial titles of Paramabhadaraka Marajadiraja Parameshvara Chakravartan. Sanskrit poet Bhati was his court poet. The next powerful ruler of this dynasty was Siladitya II. During the reign of Siladitya V, Arabs probably invaded this kingdom. The last known ruler of this dynasty was Siladitya VI. Maitrakas set up a Vallabhi university which came to be known far and wide for its scholastic pursuits and was compared with the Nalanda University. They came under the rule of Harsha of Vardhana dynasty in the mid-7th century, but retained local autonomy, and regained their independence after Harsha's death. After repeated attacks by Arabs from the sea, the kingdom had weakened considerably. The dynasty ended by 783 CE. Apart from legendary accounts which connect fall of Vallabhi with the Tajika Arab invasions, no historical source mentioned how the dynasty ended. More than hundred temples of this period are known, mostly located along the western coast of Saurashtra. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin. Early scholars like Fleet had misread Copperplate Grant and considered Maitrakas as some foreign tribe defeated by Bhattarka. Bhagwanilal Indraji believed that Maitrakas were foreign tribe while Bhattarka, who defeated them, belonged to the indigenous dynasty. Later readings corrected that Bhattarka was himself Maitraka who had succeeded in many battles. The earlier scholars had suggested the name Maitraka is derived from Mithra, the sun or solar deity, and their supposed connection to Mahira and their sun worshipping inclination. Though Mitra and Mahira are synonyms for the sun, the Sanskrit literature does not use it in sense of sun worshippers. Dharapada is the fifth and the only king of all Maitraka kings connected with sun worship. All other kings were followers of Shaivism. The Copperplate Grants do not help in identifying their origin, they describe only that the dynasty was born from a warlike tribe whose capital was at Vallabhi and they were Shaivas. Chinese traveller Hian Sang visited Vallabhi during the second quarter of the 7th century had described the ruler as a Kshatriya. Later Mahayana Buddhist work Manju Sri Mula Kalpa had described them as Varavatya Yadava. The late Jain traditional work Shatrunjaya Mahatmya of Dineshwara describes Shiladitya as the Yadavas of lunar race. Virji concludes that Maitrakas were a Kshatriya of lunar race and their origin was probably from Mitra dynasty, which once ruled region around Mathura. Now in Uttar Pradesh, India. Several scholars like Benaji, D. Shastri, D. R. Bhandarkar agree with her conclusion. Vallabhi. <laughs> The Maitrakas ruled from their capital at Vallabhi. 
They came under the rule of Harsha in the mid 7th century, but retained local autonomy, and regained their independence after Harsha's death. When I Singh, another Chinese traveller, visited Vallabhi in the last quarter of the 7th century, he found Vallabhi as a great centre of learning, including Buddhism. Gunamati and Sturamati were two famous Buddhist scholars of Vallabhi in the middle of the 7th century. Vallabhi was famous for its Catholicity and the students from all over the country, including the Brahmana boys, visited it to have higher education in secular and religious subjects. We are told that the graduates of Vallabhi were given higher executive posts. History Bhattarka. The Senapati General Bhattarka, was a military governor of Saurashtra Peninsula under Gupta Empire, who had established himself as the independent ruler of Gujarat approximately in the last quarter of 5th century when the Gupta Empire weakened. He continued to use the title of Senapati General. Apart from his military accomplishments, not much is known from the copper plates. He was Shaiva according to the title Parama Maheshwara used for him in grants by his descendants. It seems that he transferred the capital from Garinagar to Vallabhi. The legends of all Vallabhi coins are marked with Sri Bhattarka. Almost all the Maitraka inscriptions start with his name. He is known only from the copperplate inscriptions of descendants. <laughs> Dharasena I Bhattarka was succeeded by his eldest son Dharasena I who also used only the title of Senapati general. He reigned approximately from 174 to 180 Vallabhi era c. 493 c. 499 CE. It seems that he further consolidated power in weakening Gupta Empire. The Madurkas had a marriage alliance with Harasena, the Vakataka king of Avanti who had himself captured many regions formerly under Guptas. Chandralekha, who is described in Dharasanasara of Devasena as the daughter of the king of Ujjayani and the queen of Dhruvasena I. Dronasimha Dronasimha was a younger brother of Dharasena I. He had declared himself as the Maharaja known from his copperplate dated 183 Ve 502 CE. It is known that his coronation was attended by some higher authority, probably Vakataka as they had a marriage alliance. According to the Iran inscription of Gupta Empire ruler Banugupta new revised translation published in 1981, Banugupta and his chieftain or noble Goparaja participated in a battle against the Maitras in 510 CE, thought to be the Maitrakas the reading being without full certainty, but as good as certain, according to the authors. This would directly allude to the conflict between the Maitrakas and the Guptas during the reign of Dronasimha. The inscription reads, Verses 3 to 4 There is the glorious Banugupta, a distinguished hero on earth, a mighty ruler, brave being equal to Partha. And along with him Goparaja, following him without fear, having overtaken the Maitras and having fought a very big and famous battle, went to heaven, becoming equal to Indra, the best of the gods, and his devoted, attached, beloved, and beauteous wife, clinging to him, entered into the mass of fire funeral pyre. It is also around this time, or soon after, that the Alchon Huns king Taramana invaded Malwa, leading to his mention as ruler of the earth in the Iran Bor inscription of Taramana. <laughs> Dhruvasena I Dhruvasena I was the third son of Bhattarka and the younger brother of Dronasimha. He reigned c. 519 c. 549 CE. During his rule, Yashodharman of Malwa had defeated Harasena of the Vakataka dynasty, as well as the Huna king Mahirakula in 528 CE. Dhruvasena probably had to acknowledge to overlordship of Yashodharman. It is known that they had regained their glory as Yashodharman's rule was short lived and was supplanted by the Guptas. In these grants, Dhruvasena's father Bhattarka and his elder brothers are described as great Mahesvaras that are followers of Shiva, while Dhruvasena himself is called Paramabhagavata, the great Vaishnava. He must be liberal in religious beliefs. 
In the 535 CE grant, he had made an arrangement for a Buddhist monastery at Vallabhi built by his Buddhist niece Dutta or Lula. He had made several grants to Brahmanas of Vadnagar. The Jain council at Vallabhi was probably held during his rule which was arranged by his wife Chandralekha. During these days, he had lost his son as the Vallabhi council has condoled on loss. Kalpa Sutra, the Jain text, was compiled probably during the reign of Dhruvasena, 980 or 993 years after the death Nirvana of Mahavira. Kalpa Sutra mentions that the public reading of it started at Anandapura Vadnagar to relieve Dhruvasena from the grief of the death of his son. Based on his grants, it known that his kingdom extended from Dwarika to Vallabhi, whole Saurashtra peninsula and as far as Vadnagar in the north. During his rule, the Garulakas or Garudakas had accepted the Maitrakas as their overlord. The Garulaka had captured Dwarika probably with help of the Maitrakas. They probably has an emblem of the Garuda and it is clear from their grants that they were Vaishnavas. They had made grants to Brahmanas and Buddhists alike. Dharapada Dhruvasena I was succeeded by his younger brother Dharapada who reigned for a very short period, c. 549 to c. 553. He must be old when he ascended to the throne as his elder brothers ruled before him and thus his reign may have been short. He is the only ruler described as Paramaditya Bhakta, the devotee of the sun god. He is known by the copperplate grants of his grandson. Topic. Guhasena Dharapada was succeeded by Guhasena who reigned from c. 553 to c. 569 CE. He must be great king as the all later ruler from Shiladitya I to the last ruler records his name in grants. Guhasena stopped using the term Paramabhadaraka Padanudyata along his name like his predecessors, which denotes the cessation of displaying of the nominal allegiance to the Gupta overlords. He had assumed the title of Maharajadiraja. During his early rule, the Maitraka kingdom was invaded by Maukara or Maukari king Ishwaravarman. The Ravataka hill is mentioned in his Janpur stone inscription but who won the war is unclear as the inscription is fragmentary. It is assumed that Guhasena must have repelled the attack, all his copper plates record donations to Buddhist monasteries. He was a devotee of Shiva as mentioned in his grants and the copper plate bore the symbol of the Nandi, the vehicle of Shiva. He was interested in Buddhism in his last years of reign which is known from his grants. Guhasena wrote poems in Sanskrit, Prakrit and Sorsinia Pabramsa. Early historians had considered Galats Gohil of Mewar Gahilas of Metapada as his descendants. James Todd had recorded one such legend but epigraph evidence does not support the assumption. Virji also makes the point that Galats were Brahmanas as per their inscriptions while the Maitrakas were Kshatriyas. Dharasena II Gahasena was succeeded by his son Dharasena II, who used the title of Samanta in his early grants and later readopts the title of Maharaja and later again as Mahasamanta. He reigned from 569 to 589 to 90 CE. It is considered that he had become subordinate to Maukari ruler Ashanavarman for some time between which reflect in the changes in titles. From Haraha inscription it known that Ashanavarman held sway over several rulers and Dharasena may have had to submit to him, he had made land grants to Brahmanas noted in his copperplate grants. One of his grants of 254 or 257 Ve mentions solar eclipse which had helped in establish the dating of the Vallabhi era Ve. His one grant mentions Sturamati, the Buddhist monk mentioned by Chinese traveler Haiyuan Sang. One independent grant dated 574 CE made by Garulaka King Simaditya is also found at Palatana along with him. Siladitya I Dharasena II was succeeded by Siladitya I who is also called Dharmaditya, the son of Dharma. He reigned from c. 596-15 CE. Manju Sri Mula Kalpa assigns him 30 years. The Satranjaya Mahatmaya has a prophetic account of one Siladitya who will be a propagator of religion in Vikrama Samvat 477 420 CE. The work is comparatively modern and does not correspond to chronology and dating of Maitraka kingdom. 
Although no reliance can be placed on the date still his second name Dharmaditya gives support to his identification with the Siladitya of the Mahatmaya. Based on Manju Sri Mula Kalpa and his grants, it is known that his rule extended from Malwa to the oceans of Kutch in western India, he was Shaiva. The one of his grant, to a temple of Shiva, has for its Dutaka the illustrious Karagraha apparently the brother and successor of the king. He had made grants to Sun Temple and Buddhist monks show that he tolerated and respected Buddhism also. The writer of one of the grants is mentioned as the Minister of Peace and War Chandrabhati, the Dutaka or causer of the gift in two of the Buddhist grants is Bhatta Adityayasas apparently some military officer. The Jain work Satrunjaya Mahatmaya mentions that its author was his preceptor. His equal treatment to all religions justifies his title Dharmaditya. The Satrunjaya Mahatmaya, though exaggerated, mentions that he had expelled some Buddhists from his kingdom sympathetic to his rival Harsha. He is praised in accounts of Hyuan Sang as a monarch of great administrative ability and of rare kindness and compassion. He had a son named Darabada. He was succeeded by his younger brother Karagraha I. It seems that there must have been a contest between his elder brother Apendra and him but finally Karagraha I had succeeded. Darabada is mentioned to had helped Siladitya as conquering some region between Saya and Vindhya. He probably had helped Palakeshin in a war against Kalachuris and maybe gained the region as a result. He may have ruled the region independently till his death. His son and successor Siladitya may have ruled the region as an arrangement with his brother Karagraha. A queen named Janjika is mentioned in one of Copperplates which may be a wife of Siladitya I. Karagraha I Siladitya I was succeeded by his younger brother Karagraha I, also known as Ishwaragraha. Verdi Copperplate Grant of Karagraha I proves that his territories included Ujjain which is mentioned as victorious camp. He was probably in a continued struggle with Harsha started during the reign of his brother. He was Shaiva and reigned c. 615-621 CE. Topic: Darasina the Third. Karagraha was succeeded by his son Darasina the Third. He reigned from c. 621 to 627 CE. His only grant is made from the military camp at Kitaka, Keta. Chapala mentioned in Manju Sri Mula Kalpa as a successor of Siladitya must be Darasina III according to Virji while Jayaswal consider him as Karagraha. He was Shaiva too. He had some gain in North Gujarat. He must have lost some power as his neighboring kingdoms, Shalukya and Harshvardhan were in constant struggle. Dhruvasena <laughs> <laughs> II Baladitya After death of Dharasena III, he was succeeded by his younger brother Dhruvasena II also known as Baladitya, the rising sun. He reigned from c. 627 to 641 CE. He was well versed in grammar and the science of polity. Hyuan Sang had written, A lively and hasty disposition and his wisdom and statecraft were shallow. He further adds that, He had attached himself to the precious three recently. Viz, the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha of Buddhism, he had made grants to Buddhist viharas and Hindu temples alike. He used the title of Paramamaheshwara, thus Shaiva. He had renewed the grant to the Katamikadevi, a Hindu temple, by his ancestor Dronasimha. Data 2, the Gurhara king of Lata had mentioned that he had given refuge to the Maitraka ruler in a struggle with Harsha. But it is unclear that he was Dhruvasena II or Dharasena IV. Huan Sang had mentioned that he had married the daughter of Harshavardhan of Kanauj, probably as the marriage allegiance. His rule extended to Ratlam, a town west of Ujjain, so whole modern central and north Gujarat were under the Maitrakas. Dharasena IV Dharasena IV succeeded Dhruvasena II and reigned from c. 641 to 650 CE. He had subdued Guryaras of Lada South Gujarat as he has issued copperplate grants from Baruch, he had assumed the imperial titles of Paramabhadaraka Marajadiraja Parameshvara Chakravartan. He had made grants to Buddhist viharas and brahmanas. He was a patron of scholars and the master archer. 
Probably during his reign, the body, the author of Bhattakavya or Ravanavada, flourished. It is a grammatical poem, as Dharasena IV had no son, the succession transferred to the elder branch, Dharabhata lineage. He was succeeded by Dhruvasena III. Dhruvasena III Dhruvasena III was a son of Dharabhata. He reigned from c. 650 to 654 to 655 CE. He had dropped the title of Chakravartin and was Shaiva. He may have lost his sway on Lata region to Chalukyas. Karagraha II Karagraha II Dharamaditya was a successor of his younger brother Dhruvasena II. He had made a grant from military camp at Palindaka which suggest that he was in a continued struggle with Chalukyas. He reigned from c. 655 to 658. He had no son. Siladitya II Siladitya was a son of Siladitya, the elder brother of Karagraha II. As Karagraha II had no son, he assumed the throne. He reigned from c. 658 to 685 CE. He has mentioned his father Dharabhata in his grants. He had probably recovered the Lata region from the Sendraka governor under the Chalukyas. The Chalukyas recovered the region under Vikramaditya I and placed his son Dharashraya Jayasimha as its governor. The region was still ruled by Guryaras of Lata and Dada III was probably in the constant struggle with the Maitrakas. Arab historians mention that the Arab commander Ismail had attacked the Goa in 677 CE but give no details. He must have been defeated by Siladitya II. Siladitya III Siladitya was a son and the successor of Siladitya II. He reigned from c. 697–10 CE. Probably during this period, Panchasar held by Jayasekara of Chavda dynasty was attacked. <laughs> Siladitya IV Siladitya IV was a son of Siladitya III who probably had Dharasena as his personal name. He ruled from c. 710 to 740 CE. Chalukya king Vikramaditya II had captured the Kitaka region from the Maitrakas with the presumed help of Jayabada IV, the Gurhara king of Lata. Sanjan plate of 733 CE informs that Rashtrakuta Indra I had forcefully married Chalukya princess Bhavanaga at Kara so the region must be under them then. Bilidari, the Arab historian informs that the Maitraka kingdom was invaded by the Arabs under Junaid during the Caliphate of Hisham 724-743 CE. The invasion was carried out in 735-736 CE mentioned by the Guryaras of Lata. They had invaded all of the Gurhara region of north and south. The Navsari plate of Avanijanashraya Palakeshin mentions that the Tajika Arabs had destroyed the Kachchelas of Kutch, Saindavas, Sarastra, Shavatkata, Chavdas, Mauryas and Guryaras of Lada and proceeded towards the Deccan. Jayabada had helped the Maitrakas in battle at Vallabhi at which they had defeated the Arabs but eventually lost. Finally at Navsari, the Confederate army led by Shalukya troops routed the Arabs. Palakeshin was awarded the titles of Dakshinapatha Svadharna, the solid pillar of the Deccan, Amvarta Kanivartayadar, the repeller of the unrepellable and Avanijanashraya, the refuge of the people. <laughs> Siladitya V After the Arab invasion, the fragmented western states were organized under Siladitya V. Malwa was lost to Gurhara Pratiharas before the invasion. He probably had tried to recover Malwa as one of his grant 760 CE is made from military camp at Ghadraka Ghadra. He must have failed to recover Malwa but nonetheless recovered the Kitaka Keta region. He had to face another invasion of the Tajika Arabs from the sea in 759 CE fighting for Umayyad Caliphate. The naval fleet under Amarubin Jamal was sent by Hashim, the governor of Sindh to the coast of Barda the Barda hills near Porbandar. 
The invasion was defeated by the naval fleet of the Sandava dynasty which was in allegiance with the Matrakas. He reigned from c. 740–762 CE. Siladitya VI Siladitya VI, also known as Drubada, reigned c. 762 to c. 776 CE. As he had issued a grant from Anandpura Vadnagar, it is assumed that he was on expansion again taking advantage of the prevailing situation in Rastrakutas and was in a struggle with the Gurhara Pratiharas. Saurashtra was again invaded by the Tajikas Arabs in 776 CE A 159. They captured the township of Barada but the epidemic broke out. The Arabs had to return and the Caliph had decided to stop further attempt to enter India. Agyuka I of the Sandava dynasty had claimed in his inscription a victory thus they had to withdraw. The Matraka dynasty ended by c. 783 CE. Apart from legendary accounts which connects fall of Vallabhi with the Tajika Arab invasions, no historical source mentioned how the dynasty ended. The governors of Garinagar and Vimanasthali became independent and established their own dynasty on the fall of Vallabhi. <laughs> Religion The Matrakas were follower of the Shiva except Dhruvasena I who was Vaishnava and Dharapada who was sun worshipper. They all used title of Parama Maheshwara before the names of king except those two. It is evident from the use of symbols like Nandi, the bull and Trishula, the trident in their coins and inscriptions. There were presents of Vaishnavism and goddess worship under their rule. There were large number of Buddhist viharas in the Matraka kingdom. Jains held their important Vallabhi council here. The Matrakas were tolerant to all religions and made donations and grants to all of them without partiality. Administration There were administrative divisions managed by head of the division and helped by his subordinates. The highest division Vishaya were headed by Rashtrapati or Amatya and the lowest division Grama equivalent to village was headed by Gramakuta. Matrakas set up a Vallabhi University which came to be known far and wide for its scholastic pursuits and was compared with the Nalanda University. Architecture <laughs> 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 Temples and monuments Mentioned in the literary sources The copper plate inscriptions of Matrakas mentions religious edifices, Brahmanical as well as Buddhist. Some Buddhist monuments were constructed by the Matrakas themselves. Some Brahmanical shrines includes Shiva temple at Vedapadra in Saurashtra before 609 CE, Bhartishwara temple extant in 631 CE, Goddess Katamahika temple at Trisangamaka extant in 639 CE, built during or before reign of Dronasimha, Pandararya temple at Hathab in Saurashtra 502 CE inscription. Other temples include Saptamatrika Temple at Matasara Stali extant in 676 CE, Sun Temple at Vedapadra 609 CE, and Bhadranayaka 611 CE, all in Saurashtra. Several Buddhist monuments were built by Matrakas. Majority of them were built in and around Vallabhi. Bhadaraka probably the Bhadaraka Vihara. Princess Dutta, sister of Dhruvasena I, built Dutta Vihara around the onset of the 6th century. Before 605 CE, Shiladitya I built Shiladitya Vihara Vamsakata in Saurashtra. A Bhyantarika Vihara before 567 CE was built by a lady Mima. Kaka Mankila added Kaka Vihara to Dutta Vihara Mandala before 589 CE and another Gohaka Vihara was built there before 629 CE. The Yakshasura Vihara for nuns at Vallabhi was built around middle of the 6th century. Before 549 CE, Ahita, a merchant, built Ahita Vihara, probably besides the Yakshasura Vihara. Purnabhata Vihara was built by Purnabhata before 638 CE to the later group. Skandabhata II, grandson of Mahasanivagrahaka Sandabhata I, built a Sandabhata Vihara at Yodavaka. Literary sources also mention some temples dedicated to the genus. Around 601 CE, Shantinatha Temple at Vallabhi existed. 
At the time of destruction of Vallabhi, the images of Chandraprabha, Adinatha, Parshwanatha and Mahavira were transferred to safer places. The temples of Parshwanatha and Shantinatha existed at Vardhamana and Dostataka as well as probably the temple of Yakshi Ambika on the summit of Mount Gurner. Most of the constructions in this period were made of non-durable materials like bricks and wood. None of them survives now. Extant temples The architecture is in continuum of earlier Gupta period architecture found in caves at Uparkat and Kambalita. More than hundred temples of this period is known. Almost all of them are located along the coastal belt of the western Saurashtra region except the one at Kalsar and few temples in the Barda Hills region. Several temples of them are located in the territories controlled by the Sandavas. The extant temples of this period are the temple at Gop, Sankansari, Gumli, Pakhtar, Prachi, Farangi Deval at Kalsar, group of temples at Visai near Dwarka, Kadvar, Baleshwar, Sutrapada, Visavada, Kinderkata, Pada, Miani, Pindara, Kimrana, two temples at Drasanval, Magdaru and Kalika Temple, two temples near Drawad, Kalika Mata Temple, Gayatri Temple and Naga Temple, and Sun Temple at Pasnavada. Early temples at Junagadh, Gosa, Boricha, Prabhas Patan, Savri, Navadra, Suvarnadurth Temple at Dwarka, Jamra, Dagam near Porbandar, Sarma near Ged. Other extant temples include the temple groups at Kaimishwara, Srinagar, Nandeshwara, Balej, Bansara, Odadar, and the shrines at Bokira, Chaya, Visavada, Kachadi, Ranaviv, Tukada, Akadar, Kalavad, Bonvad, Pasthar, and Porbandar. Two kuns are known of this period, at Kadvar and Bansara. The Shaivite monastery at the Kaimishwara group of temples is the oldest known Brahmanical monastery of India, preceding three centuries to that in central India. These temples are austere in their design and simple in decoration. They are important in architectural study to know the origin of Nagara style shikara and the beginning of their complex designs in temple architecture. These temples also point to the second of the two early Gujarat temple architecture schools, the North Gujarat early Nagara style and the Saurashtra style which initially influenced and ultimately ousted by the evolving Nagara style. The Saurashtra style disappeared by the 10th century. Coinage <inaudible> 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 The Maitrakas continued coinage styles established by their predecessors, the Guptas and the Western Chhatrapas. Large number of copper and silver coins are found in Vallabhi and elsewhere. There are two types of coins found. The first were 6 inches in diameter and weighted 29 grains. They were perhaps earlier coins modeled after the Western Chhatrapa coins. Later coins were similar to the Gupta coins in shape, size and legends. Like Gupta coins, they were not made of pure silver but silver coated. The obverse of coin had the head of the kings facing right, as in Shatrapa coins, but no legends or date. The reverse had Trishula, the trident, the emblem of Shiva. An axe is added in reverse of some later coins. These symbols are surrounded by the legend in debased characters of Brahmi script. It reads List of rulers The list as follows Bhattarka c. 470 c. 492 Darasena I c. 493 c. 499 Dronazena also known as Maharaja c. 500 c. 520 Dhruvasena I c. 520 c. 550 Dharapada C 550 C 556 Gruhasena C 556 C 570 Darasena II C 570 C 595 Siladitya the first also known as Dharmaditya C 595 C 615 Karagraha the first C 615 C 626 Darasena the 3rd C 626 C 640 Dhruvasena the 2nd also known as Baladitya C 640 C 644 Chakravarti king Darasena the 4th also known with the titles Param Bhattarka Maharajadiraja Parameshwara C 644 C 651 Dhruvasena the 3rd C 650 C 654 to 655 
Karagraha II c. 655 c. 658 Siladidia II c. 658 c. 685 Siladidia III c. 690 c. 710 Siladidia IV c. 710 c. 740 Siladidia V c. 740 c. 762 Siladidia the sixth Drubada c. 762 c. 776. Topic. See also. Chalukya dynasty.